Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will share my journey with you how I scored a 4090 in the SAT with a perfect score in maths. I will share my books and I will also share some tips and techniques with you to improve your SAT score. So let's start. So SAT guys is an exam that is required for admission in colleges in US and Canada and also some colleges in India. So that's why students work really hard to get a nice score in SAT so that they can get to the dream universities. And for my preparation of SAT, I joined Jamboree Education. And the, my experience at Jamboree was really good. I really like the staff and also the books. Let me show you the books. So guys, these are the books that I got at Jamboree Education. This book had a lot of topics and techniques that we need to follow for SAT. This book had some further problems to practice and this had additional practice tests to practice. And this book also contains some grammar rules and other vocabulary words that you must learn to enhance your SAT score. So the grammar topics that you need to learn are punctuation, insertable removable clause, pronoun reference, subject verb agreement, tenses, and also you need to learn the vocabulary words. Next, I also bought the official SD guide by College Board. Guys, this is the book that I was talking to you about. Half of this book contains some examples and half of it contains real practice tests of SAT. And I actually do not recommend buying this book because most of it contains practice tests and these tests are already available on Khan Academy for free. So you can just practice the tests on Khan Academy instead of buying this book. But if you want to buy this book, you can also buy it because it contains some examples along with their explanations. Like it contains sample examples and also it contains sample essays for you to study. Next guys, I recommend buying books of College Panda. For this, I bought a book of SAT writing and a book of SAT maths. These two books really helped me to improve my SAT score. Out of these two books, I liked SAT maths the most because the questions in it were really challenging and it also contains some very good examples to solve. But you can also buy a SAT writing book because it contains some it also contains very important topics. It, everything on it is topic wise, as you can see. And it also contains different topics like odds and ends you must know before you get a perfect score. And at back it contains a few of the practice tests. So you can buy both of these College Panda books. Guys, I also recommend highly practicing regularly on Khan Academy. It is a very nice organization and it helps you practice SAT for free. It has some practice tests and it also has a lot of practice problems that you can solve daily. You can also set your daily achievement goal and it will also, once you give a diagnostic test, it will recommend your topics on which you got most of your answers wrong and in this way on Khan Academy you can improve on your weaker section. Next guys let me share one technique that I followed while preparing for my SAT. That technique was that I wrote all the formulas of SAT maths and I also wrote the formulas, uh, not formulas actually but I wrote the rules of grammar on at the back of my SAT notebook. So in this way, the day before my exam, I was able to revisit the formulas and important points. So guys, these are the formulas and important points that I wrote at the back of my notebook. These are the techniques for essay writing. And I also wrote the techniques for comprehension. These are again math formulas. These are the things that I wanted to use in my essay. These are again maths problems and formulas. Then I have written some grammar rules. 
and I've written again techniques for essay and some maths problems that I wanted to revisit. And guys, the most important step in SAT preparation is giving a full length mock test. These are very important and they help you to evaluate yourself. And you should try to give them within the designated time frames and take breaks as it is designated. I gave a total of 20 mock tests. These were given to me by Jamboree Education. And I gave them on OMR sheets. And I also wrote about 10 to 12 essays. These are my mock tests and OMR sheets. So I highly recommend taking the mock tests on OMR sheets instead of on your laptop or any other notebook. So after giving the mock test, you should mark the questions you got wrong and get your doubts cleared. And you should give a lot of mock tests and see which specific topic that you're getting wrong and you should focus on improving your score in that topic. If you practice a lot and improve your weaker spots, you can get a very nice SD score like 4090. And with this type of score, you can get into very good universities with a 100% scholarship. You can also apply to Ivy League colleges with this score. You just have to give a lot of APs and SAT subject tests. You need to build a very good profile and be an all-rounder. So guys, this is the end of my video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. I have also put the links of other videos in the description box below. Please check them out and goodbye.